Did it. Oh, Look wow. at that. You've, it's been a while, it feels like. Been two weeks. Two weeks, that's a long time. Two weeks. <clears throat> two weeks, that's because last week, uh, the kids had to go to the doctor because the only time that JR can go is on Fridays because he doesn't have school on Fridays. And that's the only time they had available was at the end of the day. All right, what are you doing? I am beside myself trying to figure out what I'm doing. Yeah, I don't, oh, I think you're grabbing, you're grabbing something. There He's grabbing something. Looking for, oh, a wine opener? Well, yeah. So, how's everyone's Friday? It's already Friday, so. I'm a water chaser. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Happy Friday, everybody. It's out of here. I'm like, in the middle. Why is my box down here? Because we talked about last, two weeks ago. We, oh, you brought it down. I was like, I didn't bring it. <laughs> I said, you didn't have it two weeks ago. For yes, sure. I got an email from someone who watched it last. Two weeks ago. I keep, I don't keep saying last week, but the last episode of this. On Laura's birthday. Whose birthday? That was Laura. It doesn't matter. Keep going. Oh. <laughs> That's how I remember what it is. We, we skipped Nikki's birthday. We did it on Laura's birthday. Okay. Well, okay, fine. I got, I got an email about it, so I figured there's probably other people who are curious about this box thing? You should brought down both boxes. Well, this will be fine. Next time, maybe, we'll bring down the other one. So this is a, uh, this is a bandsaw box. And as I look at it now, I'm like, this is kind of pretty poorly done, but... I disagree. Uh, it has a little locking key in it. So it, it's a slide-off box, but it's got this little lock dealy thing here. So you got to remove this bad boy, and then you can but slide it open. It's kind of cool to see what that... Like, it's actually a little heart, though. Hey, yeah, you slide it open and it does. It only, it only slides one way because I'm that good at this, apparently. It's got my pearls. Oh. That's the first, like, or the second piece of jewelry I Because this is not square or whatever. So, anyway, you get a little. You can see what it looks like inside. There you go. There's a little hard box. Yep, dump it all out. Uh, and so I, I went back and I did some, like, uh, some digging to see where the heck this plan came from. It's from Wood Magazine, issue 121. It's wow. from like 2007, I think. Mm -hmm. Something like that. So that's the, that's the box that we're talking about. And if you want to make it, they have the template for it in the magazine. So I don't know how it works with like, you know, find like a back issue if you can order like... I guess They're if all you, plans. They probably have, have them. If you have the Wood Magazine like thumb drive that has every, every issue on it, then you have it. Do they sell that? Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Wood Magazine is on a thumb drive. Fine Woodworking is just online. Ah, okay. You just go on, you can just read them all. Like Google it and it'll tell you, like, here you go, or search for it. Yeah. So. So, yeah. SG 121, little bandsaw box, heart box mm -hmm. thing with key thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, there you go. That's my little follow up from <clears throat> two weeks ago. All right. So, what are we drinking? Uh, this is Carbon Board. It's a it's a Cabernet. Cabernet, okay. Because <clears throat> you know, I don't know. <laughs> I feel like normally you talk more. Really? I, never, I don't know. I'm never talkative today. It's only been like two minutes. I feel like. <laughs> Regardless. A whole magazine on your thumb. Yeah, that's how it works. So this is the quintessential steakhouse wine. We're not having steak right now, so. Uh, rich and robust, this Napa Cabernet offers abundant wine and elegant structure. Enjoy with great steaks or great friends. I guess we're just doing Neither. the latter. We're friends. Oh, yeah, I guess. I mean, like, we're also like married people, so. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, man. So, yeah, it's been cold for a lot of people, unusually cold. Ken is in uh, north central Kansas, and... They're hopefully out of the deep freeze, 40 plus above this afternoon. Oh, that's nice. That's good. It's crazy. I have cousins in Texas um, from both sides of my family. And it's, you know, they'd actually also have lived in Wisconsin as well. And so they're just like, this is, it's a whole nother. I mean, it's unbelievable how freezing and the fact that they don't have like their, I don't, yeah, my cousins, one of her pipes bursts, which is just terrible. And now... Even though it's getting warmer, it's like the backlog for getting a plumber out there. I mean, it's, this is not going to be over like tomorrow, which is really sad. You probably have nothing to say. 
Okay. So it's unfortunate. I don't know what you want to say. It is. It's terrible. And people should care. I care. Okay, good. I don't care. You know, I don't know. Just how you are. <laughs> That's great. As always, the video and sound is out of sync. I don't know why. I think it's a live thing. I think just. Is it? I don't know. Yes. Well, it is live because it's always like this. Yeah. I think it's because it's live. It doesn't. I don't know. It's only doesn't mush up right. My words are now there. <laughs> like, I don't know. I've, I've given up trying to. This is like, don't mess with it. It works well enough well, as no. it is. Mm -hmm. Don't try and mess with it and make it better because yeah. it's probably going to break. Oh my gosh. From Louisiana, going to 21 tonight. That's, that's crazy. That's like here. That's unbelievable. Like right now. Yeah. Time, yeah. Yeah. Like it should not be that cold in Louisiana. On... That is very weird actually. <laughs> it is. I mean, think about it. Like right now is when we would go to Louisiana because we're like, we need relief from the cold. It's just... Actually, yeah. It's like... Yeah. The only difference is like we have snow blowers and all that stuff to be able to like handle it. Also, we always have electricity. So <laughs> <laughs> it's a whole different ball game. It's terrible. Yeah, we're like normally prepared for it. Yeah, well, yeah. Because we expect it. Because we expect it. So, like, they build to expect that, right? Like, houses are built differently down there because they're built to withstand, like, heat, extreme heat. We're built to uh, be able to do extreme cold. Yeah, I guess they don't have, like, frost heave down there. Yeah. Normally, either. Right, yeah, no, not even that. Ooh, okay, so. From 42 Fab, Metal Fabrication and um, Signage. Richard. Richard. Hey, Rich. If you go by Rich. I don't oh. think he does. Oh, sorry, Richard. <laughs> All right. We're planning. Just defended him now. That's it. <laughs> Some people love nicknames. I love nicknames. Some people do not like nicknames. Um, Matt, we're planning on building your bandsaw. Plans are great. Oh, are you? Yeah. Okay. Thoughts on doubling the bed length and adding a second gantry with winches for loading the logs. You can do that. The, uh, I mean, the carriage itself is basically just a gantry anyway. So I've used it as a gantry before. Mm -hmm. It works fine for that. Yep. So if you want, I mean, if you don't have other like, if you want to make the investment it. in like equipment, which is more versatile than a gantry, which is fixed in place on top of the rails, then yeah. But if you're gonna, I don't know. I'm I'm moving towards just buying a piece of equipment, and then I can not just maneuver logs on the saw bed where it is right there, but I can maneuver logs <laughs> anywhere. He's got your sense of humor though. Always Richard, still working on being rich. <laughs> <laughs> that is the classic dad Actually, joke. Actually, I like that a lot. That's yeah, pretty good. That's good. Now you're like, I wish my name was Richard so I could say that. Yeah, my name sucks. Yeah. Just Matthew and Matt. I yeah. mean, yeah. <laughs> still Matthew. Still trying to be a Matt. <laughs> that doesn't work. Nope. 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 It doesn't have the same ring. It makes it sound like you're trying to be a doormat, which is like a negative connotation <laughs> versus positive. Come and wipe your feet on me, please. <laughs> <laughs> God. Oh. Okay, so you don't have any issues with that. You're like, yeah, don't have to change anything else within like the body of it, the top. Yeah. Oh, no, but he's also a fabricator. So he's well, he's an expert. He's an expert in that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. So I'm not really particularly worried about that part. But you know, functionality wise, it's up to you how you want to do your workflow with it. I mean, extending the bed, I mean, the bed can be whatever length you want. If you get a 40 foot stick of steel, then your mm -hmm. bed's 40 feet long. If you have room for it. Um, yeah, I don't know. Mm -hmm. If you don't have machinery, then yes. If you have machinery, then it's not really We're thinking bringing it every single time. They're thinking about only having the rails in the front half, no log support, so you can back the trailer into the saw. That would also work. That makes sense? Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. All right. Just do it. Just do it <laughs> so that Matt can live through you, because otherwise I already can see him being like, I probably should make another one that's like five times bigger than the one I just made. Well, I mean, we have more room now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that was the, the room we had was a limiting factor to how long that saw was. It's only 16 feet long because anything longer than that would be ridiculous in that back area. So now you're like, well, now we have what x amount of times? Yeah, of I'm space? Not as long as I want. I'm, I'm probably going to do it uh, 40 feet. 40 feet? That seems crazy long. Well, I mean, you can stage logs. You can cut more than one at once. Okay. Or you can work on one while one's just chilling mm -hmm. over here or whatever. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you got the space, you can go. Long as long as you want, and the biggest reason for going forty is so I can cut beams mm -hmm. for this shop someday. Yeah, yeah. So, 
Hey, Forest Lake. That's really by us. Matt can take a snowmobile up there. That's how close it is. It's not that far. Uh, it's not that far at all. We actually looked at houses over there. Um, all right. I've seen and loved the chair kit. Any plans on a table kit? Not like actual concrete plans. Mm -hmm. It's like a, maybe I should do this too thing in the back of my mind. <laughs> okay. Uh, so yes and no. Mm -hmm. Maybe someday, I guess. Is that a good answer? <laughs> do you want to expand like what your thoughts would be for a chair kit? I mean, sorry, table kit. I'm so used to saying chair kit that it just comes out. Yeah, I don't even know like what we would even think about doing. Like here's the top boards that are like ready to go to be glued up, I guess. And mm -hmm. here's all the base pieces with all the joinery cut already. And you just glue it together maybe. Mm -hmm. But I think the issue with tables, well, I don't know if it's the same thing with chairs. But there's so many different styles and designs yeah. and sizes too. Like tables, mm -hmm. like if you have a standard like four legs, four apron top type table, like a basic do you want a four foot table, a six foot table, an eight foot table, a ten foot table? Then you're looking at like a lot more skews. Mm -hmm. So I think that might actually be more challenge. Now I'm thinking about it, that sounds like a lot more challenge. Right. Chair kits, mm -hmm. which are just like, how many you want? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Well, you have different skews of kinds, but yeah, there's a lot more variation to the kinds. So you can just be like, I want this I mean, one. The, the chair kits have 11 skews, and that's already like a lot. A lot. Mm -hmm. So I can't imagine like. Like how many does I say? Four foot, six foot, eight foot, ten foot, four skews per style. Mm -hmm. If you have like, I guess three styles, and you're at twelve already. You're saying yeah. the number of skews. Yeah, I don't know. Good question. Yeah, as Richard <laughs> plenty, points out, plenty of things to figure out on that one. The workbench kits could be used to build. Yeah. You're off your pretty kit. solid table. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, you can do that. Mm -hmm. Pretty ridiculous table, but yes. <laughs> Or you could build on it, your chair kit, kit on kit. I mean, if you're gonna, you can buy both. That's what can, I'm saying. You can ship them together. I guess. Oh, crazy. Okay, so Seth will be in Stillwater collecting some wood from the timber clearing for use of wood turning. Do you have any walnut or maple burrs to get rid of? I don't have any burrs. No. No burrs. Sorry, Seth. Nope. Also, I feel like bad stuff that he needs to get rid of is at the other house. Yeah, this is the wrong place. For <laughs> wrong the one. Stuff. I gotta get rid of a lot of stuff over there. Yeah, which we're gonna be doing very, very soon. Oh, hi from Ontario, Canada. That's where Matt's from. That's exciting. It's a very big spot, so that's. Yeah, you went there. I've been there multiple times. Yeah. yeah. You went there with me. I went with you tw three times? No, yeah, three. That many? Mm hmm. Wow. Yeah. Trooper. I know. Well, I like, I like it. It's Toronto is nice. Um, do you have any experience with a skew rabbit plane? Kind of. Expand. I, I have a, a um, skew block rabbit plane. What is, what's the difference? Oh boy. I gotta walk over the tool cabinet. <laughs> it's like right there. Oh, so far. <laughs> so far away. Oh my goodness. Where's my block planes? But they're all in the same spot as last, as what they were at the old place, so. Matt is originally from Alliston, if that's your question. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know where Dave is, though. Where? <laughs> from Ontario, oh. Canada. I don't know where like, Dave is, like a city named Dave. No, I don't know if Dave is also from that area, but that's where Matt's from. Actually, I get it. Oh, no, that's a rabbit in play. It's not skew. Hang on. All right. What do you got? What is a skew? Never okay. Mind. What do these things mean? What do these words mean? So yeah, I do have one actually. I don't ever use it. Okay, so what is this? So this is the, we'll take a look at this in a second. We'll work up to it. We'll work up to it. We'll work up to it. So okay. I have, this is a regular old block plane right here. This is your, you wanna, you wanna zoom in on that cameraman? Lift up. I don't even know how to do that. I don't know, you can't. I don't have my little clicker thing. Uh, so a standard block plane, it's got sides. You see the sides? You know, the blades can go all the way to the sides. Mm -hmm. And the blade is straight across. Okay. That's a regular block plane. Another variation from that rabbiting block plane. Very similar, but now the blade goes all the way to the edge. Okay, so this one's not edge, edge. So you can cut all the way into an inside corner. Let's see if I can. Yeah, so you can see the blade goes all the way there. So you can get all the way into uh, a corner, or basically all the way into a rabbit. Okay. That's why it's a rabbiting block plane. We take it a step further. 
skew rabbiting block plane. This one has a removable side, one of these sides. This side comes off so that the blade goes all the way to the outside, just like the rabbiting block plane, but it's at a skew angle. So you get a nice cleaner cut. Okay. It's easier to cut with this. So those are your three different styles of planes, I guess. And then this skew rabbit plane is very similar to this, but the Which... blade is at an angle. So you've got a very, let's see, move my stupid hat all the way. There. Hopefully you can see that a blade is at a very slight skew angle. I wish I can take it out. I don't know if it even shows up on there. It's a very small skew angle on this one. All right. So a little bit of an angle slicing cut as it's going through mm -hmm. makes it a little bit easier. So I don't really do a whole lot of hand planing rabbits. Okay, so, so what would you recommend, the skew or non-skew version of a block plane? Or is it really depending I don't know, on your... I mean, if you're doing some like figured woods or like crazy stuff, the skew helps a lot. Like you can tell the difference when using this because this is the one they actually use for like, if I'm going to use one, I guess. Mm -hmm. um, but the downside is they're hard to sharpen because now you got to sharpen at an angle. So when this is on the stone, it's that it's kind of weird, goofy sideways angle, mm -hmm. which makes it more difficult. Hang on, where's the... Makes it more difficult to sharpen. So I don't know. I think sharp, like a sharp square on blade mm -hmm. is gonna work a lot better than a dull blade you can't sharpen very well in a skew plane. Okay. So. So then what are your thoughts on skew chisels? I don't use those things. Okay, well I was gonna test what you say and then this is what Jonathan's answer was to see if you <laughs> matched it. <laughs> he says they're great for cleaning out dovetails. Everyone should get a set of one fourth skew chisels. Highly recommend. Nope. Okay, Matt feels very strongly about this, I feel I like. I use an eighth inch chisel, that's all you need. An that, eighth that chisel? inside corner, if you're doing the inside of a dovetail socket, the inside area doesn't matter, doesn't need to be seen, so you can, you're gonna undercut that anyway. So I have a fishtail. Jonathan, put down what you think so you can respond back to this. This is kind of fun. <laughs> to this, you guys can spar. <laughs> like, I have one and I don't even know where it is. This is how much I use it. Mm -hmm. Is I have a fishtail chisel somewhere. <laughs> okay, Matt is the owner of three is. of his dovetail jigs made from walnut. What happened? Three of his dovetail jigs made from walnut. Right, what about his dovetail jigs? You have three of them. They're okay. made by Jonathan, yes? I have these four. Four. With a ruler. Mm -hmm. Where did I put that thing? I don't know, but... I'm worried now. <laughs> this person is secretly your father. Brad says, I like rabbits in red wine gravy, steamed vegetables, and a nice Merlot. Outside uh, of the yeah. wine, Matt's dad doesn't drink. Matt's dad, they're very, he likes rabbit. And actually, they used to have when they lived in Alliston. Oh yeah, it was a rabbit. Um, farm, they had a rabbit. It was a, I would say rabbit farm used loosely because they, I think it was just for themselves well, mostly, right? You sold them. Too. Oh, you sold them. So maybe that raising rabbits for meat. I mean, that's farming. I guess it? then it does count. I meant it more like he had another job, so it was a secondary thing he did. I don't know where I put that thing. So oh, over here, obviously with the chisels. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We're like totally off this now. Oh, <laughs> But your chisels, I don't even know what this chisel is supposed to be anymore. It's a fishtail chisel, so it's got, it kind of skews out on both sides, mm -hmm. so you can get into inside corners. Right. I don't use it. You don't need it. Yeah. Don't buy stuff you don't need. Let me do that for you. <laughs> <laughs> what a nice offer. <laughs> well, here's a skew. This is a carving skew, so it's got a bevel on both sides. Mm -hmm. But the idea is you can get into an inside corner with this and you know, clean up inside corners. Mm -hmm. I just use a narrow chisel and do the same thing. Because you don't need that inside corner on a dovetail to be perfect. Okay. Because you're never gonna see it. It's covered by the tailboard. All right, question from Thomas. Have you ever considered doing a single slab bench, workbench rather than a split top? And why does it matter? What's the difference? I like the split top. It gives you more flexibility. Mm -hmm. So, no. You've never thought about it. Don't you have I, I one? I thought about it and I said no. Oh, don't you have one though? Is that what that is? This is a assembly table, but the split Aww. top gives you a little more flexibility with what you can do. Uh huh. And you have this nice tool holder, which I never use, uh, but you can clamp things, you can put clamps in the middle. So mm -hmm. I like it. 
I don't see any advantage to the single top. Mm -hmm. Other than like you don't get sawdust falling through, but that's really about it. all I can think of. Right. Because this this is below the surface, so it's not getting in the way of anything. I don't know. Mm -hmm. So yes and no. Yes, I thought about it, and I decided no. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, funny. All right. What else is new? Tell me things. I got this. Oh, okay. Oh, that's pretty. You didn't even show me this. I've seen this for the first time with everyone else, too. I got this today. I'm gonna read the thing. Who made this? Uh, Jay, is it Jay Lico? Lico? Michael Lico Lico? Furniture maker. Yeah, I, I backed his Kickstarter in 2012? Okay. 2013 or something like that? And this was the reward for the people who backed it. Oh, wow. And it has been like, what, seven years? Uh huh. Or something like that. And I'm like, oh. Holy crap, I forgot I did this. <laughs> That's cool. So it's created, um, with a, it was hand built without any power tools. Yeah, this is all hand tools. So it's a marquetry project and it is, uh, and the frame is hand tools as well. That's cool. Let me look at it. Yeah, so I backed, he did a, he wants to do a uh, reproduction uh, mechanical table. Can I touch it? I'm touching it at the top. Yeah, I'm sure it's got finish on it. Okay, well, I don't know. This is all wood. Yeah. So how does he get the colors? I think it's just dyed. Yeah, dyed sycamore. That's cool. I didn't even know you could do that. Is this Purple Heart? It's like the only one. I'm like... sure it's all sycamore. Okay. Yeah. Wow, it looks like... All dyed sycamore in different colors. Wow, that's crazy to think that's all the same wood and you can change it to make a little picture. I like this. Yep. Put it over here. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I was not, I was not expecting that. Because again, it's been like, I forgot. <laughs> right. <laughs> like, when, I don't know, when you back a Kickstarter, you like, do crowdfunding, you're like, I don't really expect like, if they actually give you the reward or whatever. Well, yeah, you're more just like, I just want to help you towards your project, so yeah. I don't really need anything back. I'm just like, that mm -hmm. many years later, like, hey, here's your reward. Thank mm -hmm. you. So I have to go and see, like, if you finish the oh. table or not. Thanks, Fred. Ever. I've I've noticed you weren't here lately, but I think you've probably been really busy. Oh, yeah, I bet. <laughs> yes. <laughs> very, very busy. <laughs> All right, what else? Scott's cooking dinner. What are you making? Yes, I'm good. What are we making for dinner? I don't know. I don't know. Feed me. I'm starving. <laughs> God, always. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So what else do you got to tell me? Oh, you want to show the picture frames? Yeah. So Matt, here's the best part. So it's Valentine's Day, like the day before Valentine's Day. And the kids were like running around the shop or something. And so Matt was telling them to get out. And then I saw those on the table and I was like, oh, is this what you're making me for Valentine's Day? He's like, no. <laughs> And I was like, okay, how sweet of you. Instead, he puts a picture of like two boys. <laughs> yeah, you know, my man crushes. <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh, of course. The only difference between us and hundreds of dollars is luck, but you won't hear us say that. Serendipity. <laughs> That's what it says. I like this one better than this one. Yeah, me too. That's my two cents. This is a little intense. I would have said I would just not use the black and the blue. I would just in blue, blue. That would be cool too. I mean, I know I'm why you did it. I ain't making another one, but... Why not? I can't do a, the same project again. For yourself? Sure you can. That's boring. Okay. All right, so tell me, tell me about this. Tell me about this. I make on? things for all these people. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, so what about this? I don't know. I just thought I would show it again. Because you're just proud of it. What are we going to put in this picture frame? I have no idea which one you want. <laughs> <laughs> Something blue and black? I guess. I don't know what it'll be, but... Are you gonna hang this in your shop? I could, I guess. I don't know what it is, just fell off me. Ooh, okay, I'm gonna put that down. I got more, I got two more of those things. They're like taped up to the ceiling. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know, that's the first quick little project in the shop, you know? Yeah. The first thing I made in here. Oh, it is? I didn't even realize that, okay. Like, nice. well, completed, yeah. All right, that's not bad. Not bad. Well, that was pretty good. Mm-hmm. Well, that's exciting. Know. Yeah, I don't know. It's a fun, quick little video. It took like, you know, two days. Right. I like this. The large frame needs some Ron Swanson love. Put the picture of that he has of the um, breakfast food. <laughs> breakfast food. Yeah. I like that one. <laughs> There's Pyramid of Greatness. Yeah. yeah. No, but the, I meant the picture he actually has in his office oh, in the show. Okay. Oh. Yeah, yeah. So. Obviously. Oh. Here's the thing. Uh, this is from Josh. Hey, Matt. I'm the guy who recently made your crib. 
Did seeing my progress make you sentimental? I asked because you posted a picture of your bass net lo not long after. A little bit, yeah. Yeah? I don't know. It was, it was a, that year was a very interesting year in my life. The year that you made the crib and the bassinet yeah. and the changing table? Yeah. Why? Well, I went from being like just some dude to being a father. Mm -hmm. So that was a little bit different. Right. I also went from like, you know, being like an employee to like doing my own thing. Oh, you're right. That's the same year. Mm -hmm. And then I also went to being a, uh, a full-time dad as well as uh, trying to start a business at the same time. Yeah, because we didn't have childcare for the first eight months of Jared's life. So. Yeah, so that was, uh, that was an interesting <laughs> year for me. That, I was basically a zombie because I wouldn't sleep. I would try and work at night. Yeah. And then I'd be up with JR at 7.30 is when I fed him, I think. Yeah, he like did this thing that probably is not safe, but he would make a little pillow... Oh, yeah. bed for jr yeah, yeah. and then put him in there and then the two of them would sleep in bed and i'd be at work yeah i was, I'd fall asleep pulling a bottle in his face yeah and then when he's done the bottle he fall asleep too mm -hmm. and then a few hours later we, we wake up so i'd be like i think i worked like 5 a.m yeah most nights or 5 30 or something mm -hmm. and i sleep for like two hours and i feed him and fall back asleep and sleep for a couple hours after that and then yeah. i get up and like I just like hang out with them for the day because like what can you do with a baby? Well, you could do a bunch before he started like crawling and then kind of like well, but like you I fed could, him a lot. I you spent a lot work, of times feeding him. I could work on the computer, I guess, is what I could do. I put him in the model room and I'd do computer stuff, but I was still like half asleep and tired or whatever. So like most of the work I did wasn't really all that productive. But I feel like you've like put a lot of effort in trying to get him to learn to hold his bottle at a very young and age. And he learned it. <laughs> Like you like would do all you like get this baby to hold the bottle. Well, I I would pile a blanket on his chest so I could rest the bottle <laughs> in his face. I wanted to hold it. Yeah, that was efficiency, like... you know. God. But yes, yeah, so it was a you know was it. Mm -hmm. It's a very interesting, sentimental year. Yeah. A lot of a lot of memories. Mm -hmm. A lot of feelings mm -hmm. and stuff. No. All right, here is we're crowdsourcing from Ken. Has anyone got any ideas on a four by eight assembly table that could quickly be adjusted for different heights? I have back trouble and need to change my working position often. Check out Charlie Kostorf's jack bench. Mm -hmm. uh, that, that uses a scissor jack okay. to adjust the height of the workbench. And you can use a drill to do that. Mm -hmm. It's pretty slick. I don't really have a need to adjust the bench heights. I just sit down mm -hmm. to get kind of the height that I need. So I don't know, not for me, but that could be a option to look at something like that. He's got plans on his website. What's his name again? His name is Charlie Kosork, and the website is jackbench.com. Oh, yeah, Charlie. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like yeah, Charlie. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's nice. Yeah, it's pretty, he's got videos on there, so you can see mm -hmm. like how like, it's like super easy. And it's also mobile, too, so you can mm -hmm. reel it around. Um, it's, it's like his normal workbench size, though, so it's not quite that wide, but I'm sure you could scale it to be wider right. or as wide as you want. That's what Ken says, too. Scissor hoist style adjustable height workbench. And you can adjust it at any height, and he loves it. He's electric over hydraulic. Hmm. Go fancy. That sounds fancy. Makes me think of um, my boss, because that's how his desk is. It goes up and down. He got a real fancy desk. <laughs> so he could stand for his back, which means now he can never change offices because they like built it in. Oh, good. He's stuck there forever. Well, actually, he did change offices once, and then they said so they're never doing it again because they're never going through this again. Right, because they then had to do it twice. <laughs> so they're like, no. We're never going in that different office like ever again. Yeah. Well, yeah, now he doesn't even work in the office. We all work at home. Oh, so. even better. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Mm -hmm. Really? No. Okay. Oh. Yeah, Charlie's another good Minnesotan. He is. He's super nice. We've met him a whole bunch way back in the day when they used to have like woodworking meetups and stuff. He was always around and like so friendly. He's like one of the friendliest people. Yeah, when was the last time we saw him? Was it that? Uh, yeah, the meetup. The meetup. Where thing. you did the speech thing. Oh, you, that's right. I did yeah, a speech there. You did a class. Oh my god, I fully forgot about that. Yeah, you did a class. I it thought was... it was hot in the parking lot. No, you did both. I totally forgot I did a talk there. You did a talk. You like taught about. Whoa, working with lumber and making milling your own lumber, I'm pretty sure is probably oh, I what it is. I did that. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Remember when I used to like go out and like do public speaking? I know. Like, <laughs> and here's the best part. So like Matt would I have totally PowerPoints, but like I would make the PowerPoints for him. 
Yeah. There may no PowerPoint for me. Yeah, it did. Your first one that then you use for all your other ones. I guess I modified it after that. Yeah. It's so. the same one. Uh -huh. Just slightly modify every time. <laughs> yeah, for Woodworking in America. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I've been recycling mm -hmm. the same one for since 2016. Yep. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> Remember that? That was a long time ago, too. <laughs> All right. This is a super chat. Um, first time sending you guys some wine money from Jeff. Hey, Jeff, that's way too kind. I mean, he, sent us, he also like brought us wine, too. Okay. Too nice. Too nice. But also... <laughs> <laughs> And oh my gosh, my childhood best friend is here, my next door neighbor growing up. Hi, Lindsay, Matt too. Why? <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> uh, my mom told uh, that you're a famous YouTube star. That's hilarious. <laughs> you are now? Apparently in my mother's eyes, I've always been. Okay, all right. All right. Oh man, that's hilarious. Okay, all right. Mm -hmm. Hello, Michelle. How's it going? She was never running. Actually, Matt made for her son, her first son, oh, that's right. um, a tool. <laughs> that's right. uh, a toolbox, not a toolbox, a toy chest. And it was like the first time he had made something that was like soft clothes, so the, the talon. That was, and that was my first uh, dovetail project too. Really? My first uh, two dovetails on that one. Wow. And I chopped them out on the, on the, uh, the kitchen counter. Really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You don't have a video of that, do you though? That was 2011. Yeah, that was a long time ago. Mm -hmm. 2010. Pancake's really angry. What do you need? She's not happy with you. Some snacks? All right. Your little tree toy. From Big Willie's Garage. Hoof. What is your next guild project? I have no idea. Really? Yeah, I don't know. What no. should it be? Someone tell him what to do. Normally I'd be doing more right now, but I'm not doing more. Mm-hmm. So. Pancake's mad. Come here, Pancake. I don't All know right. what it's going to be. Hopefully yeah. it's something not too intense. Right. I guess well, what I'm it, open to. Suggestions? Maybe. Uh-huh. If they're good. If they're good. <laughs> this is how like Matt is for everything. I, I want to have whatever you want for dinner, as long as it's good. Yeah, as long good. as I like it. Yeah. I can hear some snorting for a second. Yeah, I don't know. I got to think of like something. Yeah, I don't know. I, got, I don't have a good answer because I don't really know what it's going to be. Right. But I, I mean, I got nine of them. So it's like, what do I do now? That's like different enough, or does it have to be different enough? Mm -hmm. It can be like the same kind of thing again, but just a different style or something. Or I mean, what do people want though? I think you didn't make this, um, but like, so on the guild, I will now promote, I guess, Mark stuff, but like on the guild, I, you made obviously this bench that people his. really like, that was his, yeah. and the Adirondack chair I That's really amazing. like, that was his. So it's like thinking of projects that people would want to make, I think. What, mean people are making high boys? I don't think that. No. <laughs> yeah, there's a few people making them they right are. now. They are. Yes, they are. I, I mean, get, I get emails from a couple of people. They're like, Matt, look at this. I'm like, you're nuts. Like in, you. In a good way. Like, just like you. But I would say that is typically what people are going to be putting in into, like, the guild is something that has a more mass. But I feel like you're more, like, narrow appeal. Thanks. Typically. That's not bad. <laughs> that is not bad. That is a fine not many thing. Not people like your stuff. No, it means it's a very <laughs> niche market. Someone has to cater to that market. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I, mean, I got box. I got box making projects. So like, we're like smaller stuff. I've mm -hmm. got that already. I've got. Yeah. I got a sofa table. I got a giant farmhouse table. Right. I have a high boy. Mm -hmm. I've got a dressing vanity. It's so like a mid-century modern stuff. That's because I made him do that. He didn't want to. Uh, what else have I got? Here's, okay, so this is from Brandt. I'd like to see some sort of, can't say that, Kamilko? Kumiko. Wow, that was not even close. Yeah, I don't really know a whole lot about Kumiko. Well, okay, what is that? It's like the little piece of wood that have little like, <gasps> angles and things, like Mike Pekovich. I and, follow uh, him on Instagram. And Matt, Matt, can he do some of that? The guy, Kenny, he's the one who did like 60 days, boxes, every day. boxes for 52 weeks. That was like four years ago. <laughs> you know what? I like his stuff. I know you do. I like it. That would be cool. You should do that. That would put you out of your comfort zone. It's something different. It would challenge yourself. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> now, the problem with that one is like there's much better people to be teaching Kumiko than me. Okay. Yeah. That's, that, that's my hold up on that one. Mm -hmm. Now, maybe like I have someone come in and like teach me how to do it and that becomes a video. Like Matt learning to do it so we actually know what the heck they're doing. Yeah, but then some people shouldn't have to pay for that. That would be on your channel, I would say. I don't know then, <laughs> but like I can I can make like the cabinet and like the Kumiko panel is something that oh that someone else comes in and is like a guest helper yeah helper on your thing. <laughs> <laughs> the 
the other Matt can come and show you how to do it. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I guess that's that's a feasible thing. Uh -huh. I, I don't know. I was thinking that might work. <laughs> Sam has a great idea. How about a nice desk for your wife's home office with a built-in heater? <laughs> yeah, how about like an actual office? Yeah. How about that? How about like a real home office? <sighs> Not like a dungeon. Ooh, okay, a Bombay chest. What's that? I mean, I want to do a Bombay. What is that? It's a chest of drawers that has a compound curve in okay. the case as well as the front face. Mm -hmm. So normally it has a curve that goes like the side of the case is straight, out and comes back down again. Mm -hmm. And the same thing on the front, so you have a compound curve. So all the drawers are different shapes. Mm -hmm. um, yes, I want to do that. Um, I don't have the wood for it yet. All right, here's another one, The which we actually, we have one. We didn't make, Matt didn't make it though. The pie chest, when you first oh, walk yes, in our house, yeah, yeah. because then you would have to use like tin work, because there is always tin. I've like wanted that's... to do a pie safe for a long time. Maybe safe. I'll do that. Yeah, actually you could because then we can at least incorporate it in the renovation so it'll be in a spot that fits. Because that's usually like your biggest... Yeah, I mean, pie chest maybe is kind of fun. I don't know. That's, mm -hmm. that's been like on the list of like things like I wanted to try for a long time. Like when I think back to like the early days and like thinking like, oh, look at all these things. Look at all these things. Yeah. Or like a weaving bench. That's That would be cool. A weaving bench. Well, wait, like you do the wood weaving the seat, right? Right, Robert? That's what I think it is. Do you know Jack, or is that how you say it? Jack Johnson, the actor that plays the Minnesota Millennial Farmer? I don't. Do you? I'm assuming that's someone on YouTube. He is, but yeah. Oh, a super chat from Aaron for pancake. Oh, thanks, Aaron. <laughs> sure. I hear that you're coming on Sunday to hang out to like use Tomorrow. Matt's welding stuff. So that'll be fun. I'm excited. I don't know what time Tomorrow. you're coming. I'm not excited for the welding. I'm excited to see his wife and his two daughters. I like Aaron too, but you know. He's all right, you know. He's all right, you know. Yeah. <laughs> and from also 42 Fab. Not rich. Not rich. Still working on that He's one. still, and he's, now he's going the negative way, buddy. <laughs> this is. <laughs> but here is go. a start, okay? A great start on the Kimilku. Kumiko. Kumiko, I can do this. Kumiko, kid. I can do that. It was like pairing blocks and things for getting all the mm -hmm. angles. Oh, my mom would like this. A mission style sofa. My mom really likes the mission style. A sofa? Like yeah, a, you do like the a, wood. A pulse or something? Yeah. Good luck. It's another one where we're like, let's call in the experts. Call in the experts. <laughs> <laughs> it's like. <laughs> <laughs> I was oh. thinking, I might do a spice box. I don't know. You are not. I'll kill you. If you do a spice box. <laughs> <laughs> For some reference, he's made like 15, 12 spice box. I'm not even exaggerating. I five. I finished five. Finished five. We have at least two. There's two more. In the okay. like. There's two. There's two, two in the cases can. That I never finished, and then there's five completed ones in the world. Yeah, we own two of them. We don't need any more. And it's not. <laughs> oh man. <coughs> well, somebody's gotta finish those boxes. Because uh, mm -hmm. Matt started shooting video about that back in the day. Yeah. So I have a video mm -hmm. that I never finished or published from 2012 mm -hmm. of uh, making those boxes up to that point. Yeah. All the casework. How about... And all my awkward talking that I couldn't do. So that'll be fun to watch it later. All right. So Amy's been watching Forged in Fire. I want to make a wooden knife with a cherry and oak that I have. You could do a huge knife. I don't know nothing about knife, knife making. Oh, yeah. That'd be cool, though. It's a wooden knife, though? Like, it was, like, for fun? No, because it's forged in fire, so I presume it's... Like, well, it's just a wooden knife. Okay. Maybe it is all wood. Mm-hmm. I don't know. It would be easy, then. You don't have to worry about, like, steel stuff. Make a large ramp to fly your snowmobile off. <laughs> Scott, stop giving him these... Well, these... See, him and uh, him and Sam have been sending me... Real no... Probably... Sam's been sending me, like, snowmobile jump <laughs> gifts, like, a lot. Mm -hmm. Yep. So... There's that, I guess. Oh, this is a great idea. And an enabler. we were going to do this at our old house, and Matt actually already put in the like, foundation for it. Yeah, that was like, that was like getting used. <gasps> There's footings there for a swing if someone wants to be able to swing at that place. Yeah, so Brad says, how about making an outdoor swing for your kids? That'd be cool. I think someday on the guild, you'll do like a uh, swing set, like a whole fort or a tree fort. Will I? Well, you're building one at some point. You might as well put it on the guild. I feel like people would like that. <laughs> I would like that. That's what that's what it is, yeah. 
I think what I've found is what I would want someone to build for me. So I'm like, you should do this as a guild project. The collective world disagrees. What has been your thing then? So I can the, the farmhouse table. Which that, one, that one's done okay. Okay, and then the vanity. Also okay. Right. That's, those are the two where I was like, it's like a middle ground. Why one. wouldn't Both every those are middle ground? I was like, why wouldn't every human being want the farmhouse table? <laughs> they don't. I don't know. Sofa table is like still up there. Yeah. I like the sofa table too. I guess that's the most popular. It's obviously my oldest one, but also like hmm. most purchased. You I know. think. Okay. Like the waterfall tables is the worst. Yeah, well, I kind of feel for that. I get it. Why? You get why? I mean, those are popular things. People make. Yeah, I just think that there's a lot of different varieties. They're like really, really. There's three of them in that project. I only made three to. tables for that I one. I suppose to, yes. All Any right. Any variation you could possibly think of. I sound like, you know what? I got to give everybody like everything they possibly want. Mm -hmm. Three different tables. Three different Choose tables. Choose your adventure. Regly waterfall, maybe like a glass inlay river table, or like a epoxy river table with waterfalls. Every possible combination. Mm -hmm. Aw, this is uh -huh. a really cute one. Okay, so Jeff built a big tractor bed for my son. He loves it, and it's super easy to make. It's not a fine work, we're working project by any means, but he loves it. Working highlights probably helped. <laughs> Uh, headlights probably work. That's actually working headlights on your bed. The boys and Eloise I mean, can would we just get some working headlights on our bed. <laughs> no, you're building a tractor bed for us. Yeah, I mean, why not? <laughs> <laughs> it still works. You'll sleep in it. Yeah, you're like you're just like I don't want the boys to have this. I want it. It's yeah. for me. Obviously. What a sweet dad. Oops, I have to go. I never got a tractor bed. Mm -hmm. Actually, okay. So a charcuterie board. Matt has maybe not a. I think he has. A couple videos on how to make those. Like four. Yeah, so Matt can link them down below if he remembers later. And you can check them out, William, because he's saying, Chikuti Board, I brought a huge one on sale and I couldn't believe um, it. My daughter comes down after I set up cheese and salami and she calls it by the name. <laughs> yeah, I've got uh, the serving trays that I built when April was here with mm -hmm. Trident in 2016. Mm -hmm. Was it that long ago? Yeah, it was because we only had Jared at that point. I think I was pregnant. Man, with Max. That was a long time ago. Mm -hmm. Wow. I have the, the serving tray, the actual charcuterie boards, the prototyping video where I'm like, I don't know what I'm doing, but here's a piece of firewood that makes something out of it. Mm -hmm. and I have the one where I did like a bunch of them to see how long it takes to actually make mm -hmm. per unit. And then I have the one that I did for my sister, mm -hmm. the, uh, the big giant serving. Oh, tray. that's right. So mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I, I pulled a number out of the air, four, but it actually is. It, it turns out you know what you're talking about without knowing it. Four videos on right. charcuterie boards. There we go. So we probably do some more. You know, we need some more. Make it even five, you know? Yeah. Or, you know, but you can put them down so that you can check them out. All right. I got to run upstairs. Yeah, pick my last question. You pick your last question. <laughs> and read it out loud because people agree with me that it is better that you read it out loud and then answer it. Not just my mother. I was going to say, the people are your mom? <laughs> my mom agrees. People but other... are your mom. <laughs> but she turns out she's right. All right. Until next time. Happy woodworking. Okay. Right. Okay, don't knock over all my stuff. Okay. There you go. Kyle says we should build an indoor playground for pancake so she doesn't have to go outside in the cold. Poor baby. Did you even hear me? I heard it. I oh. heard it. No reaction. Zero reaction from you. Ah, uh, this is from Jeff. Because slabs take, takes, wow, so because slabs take so long to dry, are standard moisture meters able to act, actually measure their moisture if buying them locally? Um, so the biggest thing with the moisture meters is going to be the penetration into the core of the slab. The core is what's gonna take the longest to dry and white slabs takes long to dry. Um, so on the, I guess my, my moisture meter is not even in my cabinet anymore. I don't know where my moisture mirror went. Anyway, the scanning meters, they typically can go down to about three quarters of an inch deep. So if you start getting over, you get to like eight quarter or like 10 quarter, you're not actually reading what's in the middle there. So in order to get an actual accurate reading, you need to get down into the core. So if you're using a scanning meter, you need to cut a piece off the end or somewhere in the board and cut it in half and get to the core and do your reading there. If you have a pin meter where you get the little pin things in there, you need to get either pins that are long enough to actually go down into the middle of the board, or you need to do the same thing. You need to cut a piece off, cut it in half, and get in there. 
the pin meters, you also keep in mind that they may read differently in end grain versus face grain. So that is a consideration uh, as well. But like the most like way to be absolutely sure, you got to cut into it, which kind of stinks or really, really long pins. So uh, I think it's lig Ligamat makes the, um, they make one with a slide hammer on it. So you can actually drive the pins in pretty deep. That's the other thing with the pin meters is most of them, they're just, they're just like a meter with some little pin sticking out and you're just supposed to stick that on the board. The reading you get with a pin meter is only based on the depth those pins actually go. If you're just like sticking the, those little pins into the board and they're only going in like that much, that's a surface reading. You're not getting an actual core reading. You gotta get those pins in really deep. So uh, you either get ones with long pins or potentially you can drive some nails, or something conductive in there and do it that way. The one thing to also consider with doing the longer pins is they should technically be insulated pins. Uh, that way you're actually reading at the very bottoms of the pins, not like somewhere along the body, which would be a, a surface reading again. So yeah, a lot of, lot of minutiae there, easiest way. Just, you, you gotta cut into it. Oh. So I like thicker crust, and Lindsay likes thin crust. That's that's where that's at. In front here is uh, marquetry art. All right, I'm gonna see if I can get one more, and then I'm gonna go in. Oh, there we go. Guaranteed sale right there. I guess it's gonna have to happen. <laughs> Thanks, Chuck. <laughs> I'm looking here. Hang on a second. There you go. There's a down horse also makes a pin driver style. If you're gonna get a real pin meter, you gotta get one with a slide hammer on it. Yeah, I don't know. I, I'm kind of like liking the plain background, so I'm not really sure where I'm going to put the stickers now, but they are still on the styrofoam panels and they're just chilling in the, uh, the old shop. I actually need a coat rack because I don't have anywhere to put all my coats. So like my stuff is different than everyone else's because I use the door here to the house, which is attached to the shop. No one else uses that door. So like all my stuff is right here and there's like nothing there. So I need like, what is that called? Like a hall tree thing? Just for me. <laughs> so, you know, a coat rack or a coat hook or some kind of like bench thing with some shoe storage just for me would be kind of nice. Yeah, the, the door to the, the house is open, so yes. They're not shy about being loud. It's like in my face. All right, grinding a primary bevel. So you can do it both ways. You can do it with a slow speed or a wet grinder, a Tormach, or I have the Triton one. There's a few different companies that make the, uh, the water cooled slow grinder. And then there is a slow speed bench grinder. Uh, either way, we'll get you there. The biggest issue or thing you gotta watch out for if you're gonna use a slow grinder is heat buildup. So it's very easy to build up too much heat and blew your edge. Um, so if you're gonna use a uh, slow speed grinder, you gotta keep that chisel cool as you're grinding it. So, you know, it's a little more, I say, I say risky, but still doable with the, uh, the wet grinder. You don't have to worry about heat at all. So I, I did the slow bench grinder for years before I got the wet one. Um, you just gotta be careful. That's all. It's quitting time. It is. <laughs> All right, I will, uh, hang on a second. So the biggest thing with the bevel cuts on the table saw is the work piece actually lifting off the table uh, and that's gonna screw up the actual angle of the bevel gets cut on. Um, so you need something holding the work piece down in the middle there, right above the blade. So you can do a feather board on the fence or like if your ceilings are low enough, you're gonna attach them to the ceiling to push down on top of the board to keep it flat on the table. Mag switch makes the, uh, I'll grab it. They got this fence mounted uh, feather board now, which I've shown a few times. I like this thing a lot because it's pretty slick and easy to set up. So this is a magnetic feather board. It just mounts to the top. Hang on, I can see here. It mounts to the top of your fence and you can, you can 
you, know, you can set your featherboard height or whatever, but it's it's convenient. So if you're gonna do bevels frequently, I guess, this is a, a, a nice little thing to have to make it a little bit easier. All right, I'm going to uh, I'm gonna go head in. Have a fantastic weekend, everybody. Hope you had a fantastic week. And uh, yeah, I will see you sometime next week. Bye.